Today I've got a still FS38 grass trimmer running a AutoCut 11-2 head and I'm going to show you how to refill it. First you want to undo the bump knob. Do this anti-clockwise. Undo the bump knob, remove it and remove the whole head, placing the grass trimmer on the ground. What you then want to do is remove the spool, it should just pop out, otherwise you may have to give it just a little turn and it will pop out. Place the head down, the bump knob down, and what you want to do is get yourself, which I've cut here, 6 metres of 2 mil super core, it's called still super core, that's what it looks like there and you just want to get your ends together then you want to find uh, the two holes in between the divider here and place the cord inside and fold the cord back on itself just like that keep your thumb in between to keep the line separate <clears throat> and just wind it all up Okay, nearly at the end. As you get close to winding it all on, you want to stop and on top of the spool here you've got locating tabs. These two are 2mm and this is 2.4mm because you can run either 2mm or 2.4mm in this spool. I'm running 2mm so I'm going to locate it into the 2mm locking tabs. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to cut it off here to divide my lines into two. Then what you want to do is get your head back. The spring should be in there. Um, just watch it doesn't fall out and you want to thread the line through the eyelets this one here just take your time then you want to turn the spool so the locating tabs are actually facing or in line with the eyelets and push it down and the cord should pop out of the locating tabs, otherwise just give it a good pull and it will come. Just turn the head slightly um, so the spool doesn't pop out. If you turn it again a little bit too far it pops out, so just turn it back. Then pick up your grass trimmer. Place the head back on. get your bump knob and screw it back on clockwise then what you want to do is just give your cord a little bit of a pull and you'll find that the spool jumps out just like that and then what you can do they generally have a cutter on the guard here um, the lines a little bit too long so when the machine starts up it will cut off otherwise to save you having that fly around you can just cut it off with a pair of scissors just like that and that's how to refill a FS38 grass trimmer running a AutoCut 11-2 head uh, thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope you liked it